हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर्स चैनल एस टी एल टी इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एच टी हिट स्ट्रिंग स्टेज थ्रू जॉइंट ऑफ एक्स एल पी केबल आफ्टर द डिस्कशन आई शैल प्रोवाइड यू सम यूजफुल डाटा अबाउट केबल ओके लेट स्टार्ट Here is the outer sheath of the cable. This is a two part. One part is short side, and one part it is long side. L means the length of the armor. L I means the length of the inner sheath. Here is the copper screen. Here is the core screen. Here is the XLP insulation. and here it is the bare conductor aluminum conductor may be copper conductor bare conductor length is taken lx and here is the length x here is the length x here it is the longer side here is the shorter side <coughs> figure 1 place the cable so that they overlap each other and prepare as above using the dimensions given in the table below Here is the conductor size in square mm. Here is twenty five to seventy square mm conductor size. Uh, corresponding long side is six fifty five mm, and short side is four fifty five mm. And li is uh, length of the inner sheath is thirty mm, and the length of the armor seventy mm, and x in mm 165 mm and lx means the bare conductor length half length of the ferrule plus 10 mm and next 95 to 185 square mm uh, long side 655 mm short side 455 mm and inner sheath lm 30 mm la means uh, armor length 71 mm and x 175 mm and next one 85 to 300 square mm conductor uh, long side 800 mm and short side 500 mm uh, inner sheath 30 mm uh, and the armor length 71 mm and x 180 mm and conductor size of 400 square mm long side 855 mm A short side 555 mm, uh, inner side 30 mm, and uh, length of the armor 75 mm. X is 200 mm. Okay, next. Here is figure two. Before proceeding, position the outer string tube. This is the outer string tube, and the armor clamps. This is the armor clamps over the cable ends of the long side arm. Slide the one combined tubing set over each core of long arm side. This is that uh, combined uh, first stress control tube uh, for the ferrule, and over it insulation tube for ferrule. This is uh, color red, and this is magenta. First one stress control tubing of magenta color, and second red insulation tube. folded back the armor strips and wrap uh, black insulation mastic around the core folded back the armor then wrap the uh, black mastic and reposition the armor Fair. again reposition the armor strips over the uh, backup <coughs> and sorry folded back the armor strips and wrap black insulation mastic around the core and insert armor backup ring over the black mastic and reposition the armor strips over the backup ring <coughs> fix the one side copper braid to copper screen this is the copper braid 
and other side of copper braid on the art armor and bind it by copper binding wire this is a copper binding wire copper binding wire stretch the green color stretch control mastic around the xlp insulation 10 mm and up to copper tape 20 mm this is the stress control mastic uh, this is first <coughs> i wrap here 10 mm on the xlp insulation again up to 20 mm up to 20 mm up to 20 mm uh, uh, on the copper screen stretch the green color stress control mastic around the xlp insulation 10 mm and up to copper tape 20 mm note use soldering for strong bonding between coppers okay next figure 3 apply copper wire mesh over the braid and armor and solder it with copper braid and then wrap black mastic over the copper mesh here is the copper wire mesh which is wrapped over the copper braid and the armor and then it is a black mastic tape wrapped over the copper mesh insert stress control tube black this is the stress control tube black over each core and position it on the copper tape and core semiconductor termination over the green stress control mastic and then shrink it by using flame on the core shown in figure above this is the tube stress control tube black color this is uh, uh, in, uh, <coughs> insert on the core and then shrink okay next here it is figure 4 join the respective cords by crimping or other suitable method file the ex existing sharp ends if any stretch stretch green stress control mastic over the crimp ferrule start by covering the black stress control tube 10 mm and finish by covering the black stress control tube 10 mm here is the green stress control mastic uh, here is 10 mm over the black stress control tube and here stress control tube uh, 10 mm over the stress control tube <coughs> Uh, this is a green stress control mastic and next figure number 5 position the magenta stress control tube over the green stress control mastic and then shrink it by using flame here is the magenta stress control tube position it on the green stress control mastic over the stress control mastic green stress control mastic and then shrink it over it ok next figure 6 position the red insulation tube over the magenta stress control tube and then shrink it by using flame here is the insulation tube red insulation tube I placed it over the magenta stress control tube then shrink it and put figure number 7 bind the joint profile with non-adhesive PVC tape to make the joint profile down to make the joint profile down wrap it with uh, non-adhesive PVC tape Wrap the profile with copper mesh with a 50% overlap and extend on to the copper screen. Shoulder the copper binding wire to make strong bonding. 
shoulder with copper binding wire to make strong bonding this is the copper mesh uh, this is the copper winding wire uh, armor clamp this is the outer red insulation tube ok next this is figure 8 wrap the armor cage around the joint gap and fix to the armors at both sides with armor clamps this is the armor cage and uh, this is the armor clamp armor clamp any sharp point and clamps uh, buckles are taped over and this is the outer shrink tube red outer shrink tube ok next clean and degrease the cable outer sheet then centralize the outer shrink tube red outer shrink tube over the joint and shrink from the center to one end at a time Keep the flame on the move all around the tube to ensure an even wall thickness. Allow the completed joint for cool before applying any mechanical strain. The slim profile design of heat shrink cable joints are ideal for pulling cables into underground cable ducts. This is the outer shrink tube, red outer shrink tube. Uh, this is uh, the finishing of the straight through joint, HT straight through joint. Okay, next I shall provide some useful data of cable. Okay, next. Here is 3.8 oblique 6.6 6 kV 3 core XLP aluminium. Armored cable approximate overall diameter. First, I want to tell about uh, some phenomena of 3.8 of 6.6 .6 kV. 3.8 means phase to earth voltage and 6.6 .6 kV phase to phase voltage. If the cable is Unearth cable, then uh, we, we, we shall write 3.8 oblique 3.8. And if it is arch cable of 6.6 .6 kV, then this is the 3.8 means phase to earth voltage, which is root 3 times, uh, <coughs> which is uh, 3.8 kV into root 3 is 6.6 .6 kb 6.6 .6 kb is phase to phase voltage and 3.8 kb phase to earth voltage or phase to neutral voltage next here it is the overall diameter this is the flat strips armor it XFY cable size in square mm 25, 35, 60, 70, 95, 120, 150, 185, 40, 300, 400 mm and corresponding armor, armored cable outer dia in mm 37 mm, 39, 42, 46, 50, 54, 58, 62, 68, 72, 82 mm and here the round wire armored a2 x w y cable size 25 35 50 70 95 120 150 185 240 300 400 square mm and armored cable od outer dia is 40 42 45 50 54 58 61 65 72 77 89 okay next Here is 11 kV arch 3 core XLP cable aluminum armored cable approximate overall diameter. <coughs> Flat strips armored A2X FY 
केबल साइज इन स्क्वायर एमएम ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी फाइव फिफ्टी सेवेंटी नाइनटी फाइव वन ट्वेंटी वन फिफ्टी वन एट्टी फाइव टू फोर्टी थ्री हंड्रेड फोर हंड्रेड स्क्वायर एमएम आर्मर्ड केबल आउट डाया इन एमएम फोर्टी टू फोर्टी थ्री फोर्टी सिक्स फोर्टी फिफ्टी फिफ्टी फोर फिफ्टी एट सिक्सटी टू सिक्सटी फाइव सेवेंटी वन सेवेंटी फाइव एटी थ्री एम एम एंड हेयर द राउंड वेयर्स आर्मर ए टू एक्स डब्ल्यू वाई केबल साइज इन स्क्वायर एम एम ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी फाइव फिफ्टी सेवेंटी नाइन्टी फाइव वन ट्वेंटी वन फिफ्टी वन एटी फाइव टू फोर्टी थ्री फोर्टी सिक्स फिफ्टी फिफ्टी फाइव फिफ्टी एट सिक्सटी टू सिक्सटी फाइव सेवेंटी सेवेंटी सिक्स एट्टी वन नाइन्टी एम एम ओके नेक्स्ट हेयर इज थर्टी थ्री के वी आर्थ थ्री कोर एक्स एल पी एलमियम आर्मार्ट केबल एप्रोक्सीमेट ओवरऑल डायमीटर फैट स्ट्रिप्स आर्मार्ट ए टू एक्स एफ वाई केबल साइज ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी फाइव फिफ्टी सेवेंटी नाइन्टी फाइव वन ट्वेंटी वन फिफ्टी वन एट्टी फाइव टू फोर्टी थ्री हंड्रेड फोर हंड्रेड स्क्वायर एम एम कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग आर्मार्ट केबल ओडी आउटर डायमीटर सिक्सटी एट सेवेंटी सेवेंटी टू सेवेंटी सेवन एट्टी एट्टी फाइव एट्टी सेवन नाइन्टी नाइन्टी फाइव हंड्रेड वन हंड्रेड एट एम एम एंड एयर द राउंड वेयर्स आर्मार्ट ए टू एक्स डब्ल्यू वाई केबल साइज इन स्क्वायर एम एम ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी फाइव फिफ्टी सेवेंटी नाइन्टी फाइव वन ट्वेंटी वन फिफ्टी वन एट्टी फाइव टू फोर्टी थ्री हंड्रेड फोर हंड्रेड स्क्वायर एम एम एंड कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग आर्मार्ट केबल आउटर डायमीटर इन एम एम सेवेंटी टू सेवेंटी फाइव सेवेंटी सेवन एट्टी वन एट्टी सिक्स नाइन्टी नाइन्टी फाइव नाइन्टी सेवन वन And six point three five oblique eleven kV three core XLP aluminium armored cable current rating. Here is cable size in square mm twenty five thirty five fifty seventy ninety five one twenty one fifty one eighty five two forty three hundred four hundred square mm and for copper conductor corresponding ampere one twenty one. Forty-six, one sixty-nine, two hundred ten, two fifty-one, two eighty-one, three hundred eight, eleven, three fifty-one, four hundred two, four hundred forty-six, five hundred ampere. And here is the cable size in square mm twenty-five, thirty-five, fifty, seventy, ninety-five, one twenty, one fifty, one eighty-five, two forty, three hundred, four hundred square mm. And corresponding ampere of aluminium conductor ninety-six, one hundred sixteen, one thirty-two, one fifty-nine, one hundred ninety-one, two hundred. Twenty-two, two forty-six, two seventy-five, three hundred sixteen, three fifty-six, and four hundred ampere. Okay, next. Here is thirty-three uh, kV arc cable, three core XLP aluminium armor cable, approximate current rating, cable size in square mm, twenty-five, thirty-five, fifty, seventy, ninety-five, one twenty, one fifty, one eighty-five, two forty. Three hundred four hundred square mm and corresponding uh, copper conductor ampere rating one twenty one one forty six one seventy two two hundred five two hundred forty six two hundred seventy five three hundred six three hundred forty six three hundred ninety five three hundred four hundred thirty nine four hundred ninety six and here is the cable size twenty five thirty five fifty. Seventy, ninety-five, one twenty, one fifty, one eighty-five, two forty, three hundred, four hundred square mm. Corresponding aluminium conductor current rating ninety-one, one hundred eleven, one thirty-one, one sixty-two, one ninety-two, two hundred sixteen, two forty-two, two seventy-one, three hundred twelve, three fifty, three ninety-five ampere. Okay, next. Here is the approximate voltage drop in three phase. PVC or XLP aluminium cable bolts per kilometer per amperes. That is PVC cable size twenty five, thirty five, fifty, seventy, ninety five, one twenty, one fifty, one eighty five, two forty, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, and corresponding voltage drop two point four nine, one point seven nine uh, volts per kilometer per amps, and this is one point three one zero point. 
and here it is uh, XLP cable, cable size 25, 35, 50, 70, 95, 120, 150, 185, 240, 300, 400, 500 and corresponding voltage drop uh, <coughs> volts per kilometer per amps 2.66, 1.95, 1.45, 1 0 0.71, 0 0.57, 0 0.48, 0 0.41, 0 0.31, 0 0.27, 0 0.22, 0 0.20. When you calculate the voltage drop from the table, first uh, take the amperes and then take the kilometer of the cable length, then multiply it with the both kilometer and amps, then you can get the proper voltage drop is the approximate uh, approximate voltage drop from this table from this chart okay thank you for watching the video if you think the video is useful to you then please share it to your friends and subscribe our channel okay thank you bye see you next time